Hey sis, I'm Sam. I'm a doula and mama of four, here to give you some support and real talk on pregnancy, birth, postpartum, and beyond. Welcome to the only clean area of my nursery. <laughs> In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I pack my pumping bag. So if you'd like to see how this veteran mama of four packs a pumping bag for vacations, for work trips, or just for a day out, then keep on watching. First off, we should talk about the bag itself. This pumping bag came with my breast pump through my health insurance. If you'd like to know how I got my breast pump for free, then leave me a comment down below and I'll do a video on that. You know, I'm all about that frugal living, minimalist life. But this is the Aeroflow Breast Pump Sydney Backpack Breast Pump Bag. It's a mouthful. It came in two different colors. I liked this blue one. I have so much gray and white and gender neutral stuff in my nursery. I thought that this blue at least reflected a little bit more of my personality, the blue and the gold, a little bling bling, little bling bling. Just like my diaper bag, I prefer the backpack style of pumping bag because if you're a busy working mom, you have more than one child, or if you just like to have both of your hands free at any point in the day, the backpack style is ideal rather than the one strap more tote style of pumping bag. If you'd like to see how I pump my diaper bag, I have a video that I'll link in the description box and here on the screen so you can check that out after you're done with this video but the backpack style is definitely the way to go some specific features that i like about this diaper bag is the zip top closure it not only keeps the contents in the bag but also keeps the children out of my pumping bag on the front section there are spaces for empty or full pumped bottles on the back side there is a zipper portion to access the completely insulated bottom half of this diaper bag, but I will go into how I prefer to double insulate my pumped milk. The side pocket is big enough for a water bottle. The other side is big enough for quick clean wipes or any sanitizing wipes that you might want to use for your pump. All right, let's get to the stars of the show, how I actually pack my pumping bag. Of course, you have to have your breast pump. This is the Medela pump in style. It's small and very compact, so I make sure that I have this and the tubing. Now this breast pump is a double breast pump. You can pump both sides at the same time. I prefer to not pump like that. I can go into more detail about how I personally use this breast pump in a future video. If you'd like to see that, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to film that video for you. But I do still pack both flanges and both pumping sets, even though I'm only pumping one at a time. You don't wanna leave home without your battery, pack and your wall charger. Some people might only take one or the other. I keep them both together in my pumping bag at all times, even if I only use one type, which is usually the battery. It would hurt my heart for you to be ready to pump at work or on the go and you only had the wall charger or you didn't know that your batteries were low. Take both of them with you. Of course, you have to have your bottles. These are five ounce bottles. I also have eight ounce bottles. The five ounce bottles are great for just short little trips. Eight ounce bottles are fantastic for business trips or vacations. Besides the breast pump, arguably the second most important thing is how are you gonna keep these bad boys cold? I use this Medela breast pump cooler in addition to the insulated section of my bag. I love this, it's part of my baby essentials list. I will leave that video linked right here or down in the description below so you can see everything newborn essentials related. But this is absolutely essential for pumping moms. It has four Medela bottles that will link up with my pump seamlessly. It also has this curved ice pack that form fits to each individual bottle. During a typical workday, these four five ounce bottles get me through an eight hour workday just fine. But again, I'll link some eight ounce bottles that you can use with your pump down in the description below. So if you have an excess or maybe you're feeding more than one baby or you're just one of those lucky mamas that has a lot to give, then you can go check that out. But in a typical day, these four bottles are fantastic. This is absolutely one of the things I've never regretted buying. I use it every day when I'm pumping. It's a necessity for me. So if you get nothing else from this video, get a breast pump and get one of these Medela insulated coolers. You won't regret it. Freeze brain high five. <laughs> Moving on to cleanup. You don't want your breast pump pieces just sitting in the bag getting disgusting. I have a few really simple solutions for you. The first one is just a simple 
face towel, bring a clean one with you, just change it out every single day. And what I do is, as I'm pulling this off the breast, you'll get some dripping that happens here on the edge, and you can kind of catch that with the face cloth. Just kind of dry it out, just nice and easy. You don't have to be precise with it because I have another option for that. But just pack a simple little face cloth in your bag. The second one is the Quick Clean Wipes from Medela. I love these. They just open up like a pack of wipes. These are used to actually get in there and clean your breast pump pieces, especially if you don't have soap and water available, which most of us don't at work, or maybe we might feel a little embarrassed to really get in there in the kitchen area to clean our breast pump pieces. I don't really care, but you might care. And other people, if they care, they need to mind their own business. Back up! <laughs> mind your business, that's all. Mind your business. Just mind your business. Medela Quick Clean Wipes are fantastic. You don't have to rinse your pieces off before you use them again, and they'll be ready to go. So pull all of your pieces apart, get your Quick Clean Wipes out, clean all of your pieces, and set them out separately to dry. Or again, you can use your clean face cloth to just gently dry them out a little bit before you put them back into your pumping bag. The last thing for cleanup and kind of a privacy thing, I bring one of my muslin swaddle blankets. They're really big blankets, but they're very thin. So what I do is I tie this around my neck like I'm getting ready to have a lobster dinner, and then I can pump a little more discreetly. In one of my workplaces, we did not have a designated pumping room. If you do at your workplace, take advantage of that. That's amazing. Your HR team is really working hard for you. In my former workplace, we did not have that. So I used just one of our offices. I put a little sign on the door, but I can't say that there wasn't a couple of times where someone walked in on me. They were more embarrassed than I was, but to help out, I bring this muslin swaddle blanket that I can just cover up just a little bit. I've also pumped in the car out in a parking lot when I was on a business trip, same thing. I'll just drape this over myself, tie it around my neck, and I have a little more discreetness. If you have a big mess, you can also use this as a towel and just clean up the whole desk if you spill breast milk while you're crying because you spilled breast milk. For many working moms, their pumping time and their lunch time is one. So we need to make sure that we are packing food and snacks to eat while we're pumping. I really like easy to carry things. I have Cliff Bars, I have a banana, sometimes I'll bring an apple and a half a sandwich. Sometimes I'll bring a, a nutritional shake, something like that. Make sure that you pack that. You don't wanna miss out on that time by feeling like you have to choose pumping over eating and all of these other things that you need for yourself and if you're in a workplace that you're entitled to. Lastly, my handy dandy water bottle. It fits perfectly in the side pocket of this bag. I make sure to always have this with me no matter what. All right, sis, that's it. That's how I pack my pumping bag. It's super simple. Don't overthink it, but I hope you took some tips away. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.